Hello everyone, this is Cinema and this is Johannes and you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings and today we are taking a look at a few new escape room games that came out around Spiel. Uh, some of these, two of these series came out at Spiel and I think the other one like had a release at Gen Con. Cool. Uh, but we're going to talk to you about basically eight different escape rooms today but kind of four. So you will see, you basically you see the thumbnail, so you yes, already know, you know. The, the reason. Sometimes like, oh, you don't know what's going to happen in this video. You do, because we show in the thumbnail yes. what is in the video. So you can see the future. Yes. Today, we are going to start off talking about 50 Clues. Yes. And this is the third series of the 50 Clues games. Before we go into that, a little bit of background. We did like a big escape room game video before because we love escape rooms. Yes, we do. How many escape rooms have we played? Oh. Like approximately. Hmm. A lot. I, yes, I don't, a lot. I actually don't know. Well, okay, so, so you can guess then. Hmm. I think we have around 100, maybe. You think we have, you know what I mean, like real life escape rooms? Yeah, real life. You know we played 60 at our honeymoon last okay, year? Okay, so maybe more than 100? Yeah, we are nearly at 200 escape rooms. <gasps> That's a lot! So next cool. next trip we do, I think we're going to be, I think we're like at a 187 or 100 or something like that. We are geeks. We really love escape rooms and we really love escape room games. We try to play um, and many and after a couple of these I want to play even more of the kind of different kind of ones. Okay, cool. But we love Unlock. We like Exit, like they were mm, better in the beginning. Ups and downs, yeah. yes. We don't like Deckscape because it's horrible. Yes. Uh, and, and, and we tried a couple of other ones as well. But those are like the biggest ones. I cannot wait for a new unlock. Hope it comes soon. But now, back to this video. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about uh, 50 Clues. The first 50 Clues came out, I think it was 2019 spiel. I think you're right. Uh, and it was dark. Mm. It was not for everybody because no. it had some very dark theme, but we really liked it. Yeah, and the theme was making sense for all the escape room puzzles, Yes, uh, which I th think is really cool. And it was unique for me yes. to put it in, yeah, without spoiling, a context that kind of made sense. Um, and the, the puzzles were really good. Mm -hmm. And we're going to try to not spoil anything in this video. I'm going to let you know if there is going to be anything that I can count as a spoiler. Mm -hmm. But with this, we're not going to spoil anything. Um, I really like them. And basically, the theme is that you are a bad person. Mm -hmm. And you're doing horrible things. Well, not in this one. No, no, in the first one. Yes. Really, really liked it. And then they had a second trilogy, all of them are trilogies, which... You were kind of, it was the same case, but you were like the detective. Yeah, on the other side. And that one was not as good. Not my favorite. Nope. It, it had a lot of math. Uh, yes, and some uh, puzzle types were really similar. Mm -hmm. And it got a little... Samey? Yeah. Mm. So now we have this. And I don't feel like we can say a little bit about them, but I'm not going to say like, oh, but I really like this more than that because they kind of blend together. Yes. We played them all kind of in an evening, so it was kind of a one experience. And the game box says that the, the game is going to be about 90 minutes. I think we spent a little bit less. Yeah. Mm, uh, we just played this with two, and we are pretty good at solving puzzles. Yeah. Uh, and we're also pretty good at knowing when to ask for a hint. Because we know when we are stuck, and usually when we take a hint, we are saying, would never have understood that in a million years. So let me know a bit about these three. What is the theme? What did you think? Did you like them? Would you recommend them? Um, I I really did like them. Uh, if I can talk about like the puzzles, we should. I, I'm maybe very start with the theme. Yeah, I'm very unsure what I can spoil. Okay, the theme is uh, you see on the front basically yes. there is something about radioactivity, something about negative things. We're not going to spoil like what happens in the story, but it is a kind of. If you think that is a sign for radioactivity, you are wrong. Oh, it's not. It's biohazard. Yes, I'm thank sorry. you. I was just saying. Like that is not the theme. It was. What not. are you talking about? <laughs> I'm tricking you into thinking it's a different theme. Yeah, but it's basically some disease and people trying to stop it. I can say that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's the theme. So what do you think about the puzzles uh, and the, the other questions I asked? I really liked it. I, still for me, my first experience of 50 Clues is the strongest one. Yes. And I'm not sure if I would have feel, felt like the same way around if mm. this was my first. That is true. Uh, because I, 
it was so new to me then, like mm -hmm. that way of doing it. Yeah. I think that this is still dark, but may not as dark as the f as the first one. I think uh, this no, no, is no, milder. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think if you're looking for a fifty clues to start with, mm -hmm. this is great. Yes. Uh, you don't have to play the others from before. Nope. Um. This is very nice to start with, and also the puzzles are very solid still. There's mm -hmm. some, sometimes they don't match up with my brain, but that's normal in an escape room game. Um, there was a bit of math here as well. Yes. Uh, and math, uh, I think it's horrible in escape rooms. Doesn't bother me too much in escape room games, because I have more time. Mm -hmm. like, um, it does, it's not like a timer. Um, I agree with you, like there was a good, mostly a good variability of puzzles. Like, I didn't feel like, oh, it's the same puzzle again and again. Uh, and there's many puzzles, so I like that. Mm, the game uses a website to be able to play the game. You mm -hmm. need a website and you need to... Uh, you are filling in numbers. You're filling in, like, it's kind of has taken some things from Unlock. Where you have, like, two numbers you can put together. And also some hidden numbers. So that's kind of, like, taken from Unlock. Uh, but it works very well and the website works well. Um, all in all, I really liked it. Yes. Uh, it's not... Um, while 50 Clues, the first one, is going to sit high on my list of escape room games. This is going to be more in the... I would say like a bit higher than middle, so maybe like in the upper fourth. Yeah, I Does agree. that make sense? Yeah, like it's sense. a good one. It's not the first I would get if I were going to go into escape room games, but it is one that I would recommend. Yeah, I agree. I think like rating wise, if we are there, because yeah. we, we... It's hard to talk about this because we really want to talk to you about them, but we can't like... Say spoilery yeah. stuff because then the game is horrible. I think like I would all in all rate them like a seven. Yeah. Yeah. Does yeah. I would sense? rate it a little higher. I would yeah. rate this one a seven point five. Okay. So right in the middle of the first one and the second one. Do you have anything to say about the difficulty? Hmm. Mm, oh, no. That is so hard. Yeah. Yeah. It's. I think for me like this was kind of in the. It was not too hard, but it was also, you had to use your brain. Yeah. Like, it didn't feel, like, obvious all the time. Some some puzzles I felt like, okay, I really had to rack my brain. Yeah. So, kind of in the middle for me as to the difficulty was. Yeah. Next up, we're going to talk a bit about uh, two new escape rooms in, uh, escape room games, in a new series from Board and Dice called Fight Quest. Uh, I really enjoy the idea here. Mm -hmm. They're taking other games, like, for example, 7C isn't even a Board and Dice game. It's a, a tabletop RPG. I've never played it, never don't know a lot about it. Um, and they are making escape room in those settings. So you have one with a, a Nemesis and one with a 7C. Let's talk about them in the order that we played them. Yes. Uh, and, and what is kind of the, what is the most unique part of this game? I will see if you agree with me what's the most unique part. There's, there's two things. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I agree. Um, the first thing that is kind of unique is that you have, you're have you building a, a room with like the, the parts of the game. That's with, what I was thinking yeah, about. Yeah, so you have this 3D, di uh, 3D dimensional, that is not 3 3D dimensional. 3D uh, aspect of it as mm -hmm. well. And the other unique thing is the way you check if your answers are right. Super smart. Yeah, it's super clever. And it's really nice that you can check if you're right without getting any spoilers. Yes. Yes. So basically how it works is that you have this uh, uh, I can actually show you, can't I? And I can yeah, show that. Yeah. yeah, you can show it's it because spoiler. it is set up. It's set up. Yeah. I will over here take out um, all of the... And, and this is without an app, so you can play this just with the box. So here is basically is nice. uh, the answer uh, matrix. Uh, and it has a lot of symbols and you have these tiles uh, that you will place over here. And you're going to place four tiles. You're going to start at the letter of the puzzle and you're going to end at a number. And when you place these tiles, and there will be numbers, symbols, colors, so this answer to questions are not always numbers. They can be different things. And if the answer is correct, you will then see the same symbol on this, on this one side, left side of all the things, and the same symbol on the, all the side, things on the right side. I don't know if you have it correct or not. I really, really like that. Mm, let's talk a bit about Nemesis, uh, the, this one. Uh, let's talk about a couple of things. Mm -hmm. First, how is it different than other escape rooms? Uh, let's talk about that first. How it is different from uh, other escape rooms? It's another game. 
Yes. Um, I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> no, no. What do will, you think? I will say it's different because it's kind of it's trying to tell a story um, more than many other escape room games, mm -hmm. and also it has some elements. I don't think I want to spoil them, but it has some elements that makes it different than other escape rooms like Exit and Unlock by being like you have the cards and the book in Exit, you have the cards in. Um, in uh, in unlock and sometimes other things in these two they're trying to do like a little bit more than that in a nice way it felt refreshing mm -hmm. it felt kind of different but still didn't change the game too much but just gave it like oh this is how they want to do it with the 3d thing and also the other way the game worked yes i agree and i think that if you have played nemesis you would uh, recognize the theming yes. in this game and i think that i have made a cool thematic choices in in that regards mm -hmm. what do you think about the puzzles in this game i think the puzzles in nemesis were, were was fun yes. uh, we have played a prototype of that one so no we played a it was kind of like a prequel thing oh, but it okay. had a couple of the same yeah, puzzles something yeah. i recognized some things of them it didn't make it boring it was mm -hmm. still fun puzzles i enjoyed them and i i think uh, regarding difficulty, I think both of these were a little uh, like um, uh, easy. easy. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, absolutely. I don't know the word for easy. Uh, yeah, I think that it was uh, on the easier side. So we talked a bit about like the, the system and all of that. So let's just talk a bit about the 7C. Mm -hmm. uh, I really like the theme for this one. Yeah. I liked the writing. I agree. It was um, fun. It was funny. We laughed. It was. Yes. A, a, it was not a lot of laughing in Nemesis because no. everything is dread. Yes. Uh, so I like that. Uh, but for me, I enjoyed Nemesis as a game more than I did 7C. Yeah, I agree. The the um, puzzles in itself yep. were more uh, cooler, or uh, cool. Uh, I like them more in yes. Nemesis than I did in 7C. In 7C, there is a part of the game, and now if you don't know anything about the game, just mute me for a minute. Um, there are some puzzles here which are more like open-ended questions, which I didn't like too much. Yeah. It was kind of like, I don't know, and it was a little bit of it here as well, like I don't know what I'm supposed to do now uh, in a way that I didn't enjoy, but that might yeah. just be my brain because I want everything to make sense and be logical. Mm -hmm. um, and it was logical, that was not the thing. Uh, but yeah, I agree that it was on the, the easier side. But I enjoyed both of them. What do you want to rate these two? Mm, I would rate this like a six, a little mm -hmm. above average. Yeah. And I think I will rate this a seven. Yeah, I agree, basically. Uh, but I enjoyed these two first from SideQuest. And yeah, I'm looking forward to play the next in the series. Yes. Uh, last today, we have we started with small boxes. Now we're going to end with the big hey, boxes. stuff. Mother of Frankenstein, Volume 1. Mother of Frankenstein, Volume 2. Mother of Frankenstein, Volume 3. These are the boxes you're going to pick up on the shelf and be like this looks super good this looks super interesting no, it is basically a picture of a woman but it says frankenstein on it so it's going to be intriguing mother of frankenstein is made by the people who run what is it called again it is lock called me. hatch oh. no that is the, the, that, that, that is that, is that because it says yes. lock me this is from hatch escape the people who run that uh, which is a LA based escape room um, and they have a game that we were supposed to play last year which is supposedly mm. very good called mm. Labrat uh, one of the highly recommended escape rooms in LA so if you are there and you like escape rooms Lucky I think you. you should go and play it mm. but Modern Frankenstein is uh, based on the life of Mary Shelley mm -hmm. taking some liberties here and there making its own story uh, but trying to be a storytelling puzzle solving game less as an escape room because it's yes. not trying to do it as fast as possible. Yes, because we introduced this video as like looking at the escape room games. Mm -hmm. This didn't absolutely not feel like an escape room game. It felt more like of a storytelling puzzle solving game. Yeah. We do, did not have a timer on this game. I Luckily. doesn't recommend it either uh, because it took us a fair amount of hours. It took us about 19 hours to solve these three boxes. And let's talk a bit about them. I am going to spoil a little bit about this, mm -hmm. um, but it's things I already knew before I played them. Mm -hmm. Because, and so basically, if you're gonna buy them and you're not gonna look at the things that are inside the box, because in here there's like a poster that tells you in the next volume you're gonna do this thing, and the next volume you're gonna do this thing, because there's like a couple of things I think you should know before you buy this, and I think you know what I'm, I'm yeah. talking about. But first, let's talk about Volume 1. Yes. Volume 1 
might be my new favorite puzzle solving experience. Yeah, it was really fun. Yes. And it was so refreshing mm. yeah. to experience a puzzle solving game which really has... Hmm, mm. I can't really describe it, but it feels like everything is true true so mm -hmm. yeah it's yeah yeah mm -hmm. i love it. like this is if you're gonna buy this know that this isn't like unlock when you play something for 60 minutes and you solve like 20 puzzles in this box i i don't i don't know but it's kind of like you have a different envelopes that you're going to use and you can open it and you're going to solve something in there but there might be a puzzle that you spend 90 minutes solving. Mm -hmm. And that's like parts of one puzzle. So it's not like you don't do anything and then suddenly you know the answer. Uh, but there are so many uh, very clever. You feel so good when you understand how everything is put together. And, and the, the I also say that the writing is good in all of these three. Yes. Um, the one thing it was worst in this is the thing we luckily didn't have to use too much. Which is this game is almost perfect. The only thing that's bad is the hints. Yeah, uh, it says that you shouldn't be afraid to take hints mm -hmm. because you won't get major spoilers. That isn't true. Uh, I wouldn't in, say it's true, no. No, uh, I, I thought sometimes when we took hints, it was really, um, what to call it, a letdown for me. I yeah. was disappointed that they just didn't give us a little nugget yeah. so we can could try to do it ourselves. They just like gave us the answer and that was really boring. And I, we only, luckily only took one hint for this one. Yes, we stopped. We, uh, like, yeah, oh, okay. we, just we don't want to do that. And I, 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 I would have liked them to revamp that and writing them again. And like uh, exit is good at that even though usually you do the first one it's like oh we know that already but it's good that it's there because if you didn't know that already it's good to know that but here as you said it just gave you the answer to that kind of the puzzle and when there's not that many puzzles or part of the puzzles that's kind of sad uh, but volume one is fantastic mm -hmm. uh, i think this like is a 10 of 10 for me like a oh, 10 yeah. out of 10 like it's, this is it's so good this is really good and i think if you you play this one you probably want to go and play volume two and volume three let's so let's about talk about volume two or volume, volume three two. and i'm going to spoil the first thing that you're supposed to do in this one uh, because it's such a big part of it mm -hmm. and it's going to take you hours uh i loved it Yes, I did too. And, and, and no, and like this is not a heavy spoiler because as I said, this is things I knew. And if you read like the flyer in there, it's going to tell you that what you're going to do in here. You're going to do a jigsaw puzzle. Yes. And it's a hard jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> it's a hard one. I think one. it took us three hours to do yeah. the jigsaw puzzle. Mm, and, and after you have done that, it's, um, we're not going to talk a bit, like, it's, this one is very different. Yes. And I love that, that those, those two are completely different yes. experiences. I really like this one as oh, well. Yeah. Uh, it, it, I like the first one better, but mm -hmm. this was absolutely solid. I, I think the puzzles here as well was very, like, overall, quality of puzzles oh, yeah. like it's it's so good oh yeah i i, I think that it, it gave me i was thinking i'm gonna get more of the same kind of puzzles mm -hmm. and when it was just like completely different there was a couple of things that threw me off because they're in the first one it was like a way to check your answers yes. basically and in this one you just did something and it's like i don't know maybe it's right i don't know if it's right or not but you will soon find out mm -hmm. uh, again really good i think for me this would be kind of a and an eight or a nine, yeah, uh, really good. Like it's it's still one you should get. Yeah. And then we're coming to the third like, box. You should get all three yeah, yeah. because like the story is, is best completed. And then you're gonna get your third box, which is kind of the same height as both the other boxes. <laughs> and the reason for this is that the, the little spoiler I'm gonna tell you in this one as well. And in this one, you don't only have to solve a jigsaw puzzle; you have to solve. Yeah, um, I don't want to spoil it actually because, because I didn't know it going into it and I thought that was really cool. Okay, but I'm going to spoil it. Okay. So if you don't want to know it, because I want to talk about it. because <laughs> You can listen again, again when I do this, okay? So... It's, it's going to say in, in the box. But then again, like it's a small spoiler. Uh, but you are making a big... I mean, the reason I'm wanting to say this is basically because you might hate these kind of things and you will hate it and that is you are going to build a 3d jigsaw puzzle and that took us i think five hours yeah. and i loved it but it was frustrating and it was hard and it took us about five hours and now spoilers are done 
if you're back now and then that is that um volume three also had some great puzzles it's a great story moments and all in all i i really like this one as well i agree i had to say um, regarding like all tree boxes sometimes mm -hmm. uh, i thought it would be like a an advantage for us to be english speakers that is a big thing mm -hmm. because there's many riddles and it's hard to do not be have that as your like first language yeah. yes and, and uh, when we we took some hints for the riddles in, yeah. in this yeah. one and i thought that those hints were much better yes. Uh, yes those didn't spoil it right away so so i was very very pleased with that i'm gonna say for the people who now think i spoiled things i didn't say anything that is not on the back of the box okay because Good. it says on the back of the box Good. Day, basically Good. Um, i didn't i just didn't know and no, i was like what? i was just reading and cool. i was like oh it's there okay. on, on, the, yeah. on the back that's um, fine. all in all I think that Mother of Frankenstein is going to be my new favorite puzzle solving experience. Cool. And I really want to play more of these kind of like puzzle solving things now. Yeah. Where you have harder, longer puzzles. I love Unlock. I love all of these like smaller escape room games. But these puzzle solving experience, if you know any of these that are good, Please let us know because I really want to play them. Yeah, and regarding difficulty, this was difficult. High. This is a high difficulty game, and but I think also that this we really enjoy playing this just the two of us. Yes. But I think you could play this with more brains as well. Yeah. But know that usually your goal you don't get like five different puzzles, no. and everybody can do a little bit of that. That's You're true. usually having few puzzles at a time mm -hmm. that are really involved. Yeah. And I think like all, I think I would give that one an, an eight, maybe. Uh, all in all, I would give the whole series a nine. Yeah. Uh, really recommend getting this if you yes. are enjoying puzzle solving as well. I think that's going to be the end. Yes. Yeah, if you got any information out of it that that this video that helped you in any way, or if you just enjoyed watching us rambling along on escape room games, then you can help us out in a big way by giving us a victory point. And we get victory points when you click that subscribe button. You can also click the bell to get notifications every time we post a new video. And this is going to be the end of this video. I'm Johannes. I'm Cinema. And you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings and bye bye.